Hey guys, today I'm at the Minton. Developed by King Leong, Minton is a 99-year leasehold property that was completed in 2014. It's one of the largest condos in this area with a huge land plot, sprawling facilities and over a thousand units. Just look at all the children play facilities behind me. I wouldn't blame you if you think that I'm in a park or something like Pasir Ris Park or East Coast Park. Look at all the children having fun there. That's not all. One of the biggest draw of Minton is it's... Um, wait for it. I'm walking towards it. It's air-conditioned. Right behind me is air-conditioned badminton court. I'm Jim Tay, a real estate salesperson and yes, I am currently selling a beautiful two-bedroom apartment at the Minton. Let's take a quick look at the interior. It's nicely built up. The owner renovated it when it achieves its TOP in 2014. You can see all the built-in cabinets and very importantly, it has a nice pool view. The bedrooms also have ceiling fans and there's a nice touch in the kitchen where the owner actually put a small window so you can look out of your kitchen to your kids when you're cooking. Anyway, if you've seen any of my other videos, I don't stop here. Keep watching and you'll find out the real reasons why you should consider the development Minton as your next home purchase. And I also give you my views on who I think this development is most suitable for. Keep watching. Hey guys, I'm back in my studio where it's easier to explain to you the key selling points of the Minton. First, with all things real estate, location, location, location. I want to point you towards this MRT map where you can see Minton is located at Serangoon. Serangoon is a key interchange and is the only place for the entire Purple Line before the next interchange which is centrally located at Little India and Tobigod. That makes Serangoon a prime location along the entire Purple Line. Not just that, but if you're an owner looking to buy something near the Serangoon MRT station, what are your options? This map shows you Serangoon MRT station. Okay, nearby Serangoon MRT stations, you have mostly the HDB estates. For private condominium status, you would have to look at, for example, Jade Residences, Forest Woods, Casa Cambio, and the Minton, which is our subject property, over here, which you may say is slightly further away. The nearest condominium, Sun Glade, is very old and completed in 2003. So in terms of location, I would say that the Minton isn't that bad compared to the rest. Reason being is because if you need to take a bus to the MRT station anyway, one stop and three stops doesn't really make a very significant difference. Not to mention the other advantage that Minton has over those condominiums, which is the second key selling point I have for you. Size. Comparing the floor plans of the two bedroom units, this is Jade Residences. As you can see, their two bedrooms are about 49 square meters or about 5 to 7 square feet. Really small. Even the larger type at 55 square meters is only about 592 square feet. This for a layout with an open kitchen concept and two tiny bedrooms without any storage area. Jade Residence was completed in 2017. I also want to compare with this condo Casa Cambio that was completed in 2014. Same year as the Minton, which is 2014. And also comparison with Forest Woods, brand new condo due to complete in quarter 2, 2020. Okay, let's look at Casa Cambio's floor plans. Completed in the same year as the Minton, Casa Cambio's two bedroom units are 46 square meters or 495 square feet. Hardly livable if you ask me, and they were mostly sold to investors who are renting them out to tenants. The other one that's more reasonable, two bedroom layouts would be Forest Woods. Developed by CDL, they have a reputation of developing good quality homes for Singaporeans. And here, the size is more reasonable at 689 square feet. However, do note key features such as the lack of steel, a closed kitchen, and no household shelter or storage space. 
Coming back to the Minton, I want to show you the floor plan at a whopping 980 square feet that makes it such a popular layout with homeowners. Yes, this is the Minton 2 bedroom layout at a whopping 91 square meters or 980 square feet. It has elements that most small families would love to have. A closed kitchen, a household shelter for storage, and two very good sized bedrooms. The Minton is truly a condo built for family stay and the sizes of the units is testament to that. To show you how big and generous the space is, I want to contrast with another development in Bukit Timah. Why Bukit Timah? Because Bukit Timah is an area known for its luxurious plus size homes. Let's take a look at this location map, Bukit Timah. During that period, one of the condos that has a similar TOP is Floridian. As you can see, the first in the row here. Completed in 2012, just two years earlier than the Minton, Floridian is located along Bukit Timah Road, about a five minutes walk away from King Albert Park MRT Station. Interestingly, the two-bedroom apartments at Floridian were even smaller than Minton. Let me show you the floor plan. This is an example of a two-bedroom at the Floridian and it's 872 square feet. Key point I want to illustrate here is that the sizes at Minton are something that you cannot get even in nearby developments to Serangoon or to other developments in more prime areas of Singapore. It's something truly very rare. And if I want to show you the newer condos on sale in the market today, you really won't be able to find anything of such sizes anymore. And my next point, the third point is very importantly, price. I want to go back to the Serangoon cluster. Remember the condominiums that I circled earlier? Now I want to include Sunglit, the older condominium that was at the same time closest to Serangoon MRT station. Look at the average PSF. This is sorted from the lowest, which is Minton at 1055 per square feet, all the way up to the highest, which is Jade Residences at 1007 per square feet. And this is just the Serangoon area. There are two more graphs that I want to show you to make the price advantage at Minton even clearer. This is the second one where you can see once again the Minton. When I put it against other familiar condos in the area, Coven Melody, one MRT station away, Coven Residences, Residences Botanic, and even the newer launches further south, Trevor and the Woolley Residences. You can see that even when I compare it against a bigger competition, and I only take into account the two to three bedroom units, the average per square feet at the Minton of 1038 PSF is still the lowest among all the projects in the vicinity. And you might say this is just per square feet. What about quantum? And that's where the third graph comes in. Even when I turn the comparison with the wider range to a quantum game, the Minton's quantum of about 1.12 million for a 2-3 to three bedroom unit is still smaller than all similar comparable projects within the same area. Remember those numbers for the Minton. I want to show you another statistic that tells you how good value Minton is. Let's look at executive condominiums. Executive condominiums are supposed to be the cheapest form of private housing in Singapore. But today, let's just look at two recently launched ECs along the Purple Line. The first launched in about December last year is Piermont Grand. And it sold an average price of about 1098 per square feet. Then more recently, we have Ola. At Anchorville. You may have heard all the advertisements in the media about it. It's like you're living in a fantasy in Ola. Well, it certainly is a fantasy when you're paying about 1,001 PSF for EC. In contrast, remember that Minton today is only being transacted at an average of 1,055 per square feet. It's a lower number than both newly launched ECs. I'm certainly not running down executive condominiums here and there are good reasons to buy them depending on your needs and wants as a buyer. I'm just sharing with you the pricing perspective between them as well as Minton. When you put the pricing more in perspective with regards to location, Minton is located at Serangoon, a key interchange along the Purple Line, whereas Piermont Grand is located at Sumang and Ola is located at around Chinglim. 
they are quite a far distance away and at the same time you're paying more on a per square feet basis. Something worth considering as a buyer. The Minton is certainly a value for money condominium along the entire purple line. But that's not the most fantastic thing about Minton. I want to talk about the final point which is the uniqueness of the development itself. Make a guess what's the land size of the Minton. It's 475,000 square feet. To show you exactly how big it is, that is the size of 8 football fields. And that means that in the entire District 19, for condominiums that are less than 10 years old, means reasonably new, Minton has the largest land plot. Not sure what is District 19? Let me show you a district map of Singapore. This is Singapore's map sorted by districts. Look at District 19, it's a huge district, one of the biggest in the entire Singapore, consisting of pretty much the entire Purple Line, Aogang, Serangoon and Pongo areas. Imagine, Minton is the biggest development in that entire area. What that means is a whole wealth of facilities in the development. I want to illustrate just that with this um, developer's brochure that I still have from the days when Minton was launched. Let's go through the brochure right now as well as current live videos and pictures that illustrates to you the depth of facilities and the beautiful landscaping at the Minton. Opening up, you see that Minton was advertised as one home and three worlds. That's because of its huge land size. You have the fun world, the wellness world, as well as the tranquil world. It is a city on the edge of the city with a huge main pool, water playground, the legendary badminton dome, a grand clubhouse at the entrance, and great living spaces and lush landscaping where it's almost as though you're having a garden in your own home. And that's a library and library deck where the Minton itself hosts its own small library where people can gather and there are books for you to read. A nice and majestic landmark bridge extends over 70 meters and links the Grand Clubhouse to the North Wing and the other blocks of the Minton. There are also many pools besides the main pool. You also have a 20 meter heated relaxation pool. Heated relaxation pool is over here. And you also have a smaller lap pool right about here in addition to the main pool. Sky terraces are also very well utilized with separation for his and her and they both overlook the landed houses in front. Such facilities at the Minton make it not just like any other condominium you can find anywhere else. It truly is a city, a playground, a park, and a recreational center all in one. And in spite of all the facilities that I just mentioned, if we look right now, we focus on the site plan of the Minton, the block to block distance is still about 50 meters. They have a side gate here that goes out directly to a bus stop. The school is within 1km to Paya Lebar Methodist Girls School, primary school. And I just want to focus a bit on the two bedroom unit I'm selling right now. My block is located at 8A, stack 25, and it's the closest to this bus stop. As well as, take note, the Minton, most of the car park lots are in the basement. The only visitor lots are over here at this side. Which is one advantage when you have visitors coming, they don't have to walk all the way to the other side to your block. My unit at the Minton is still available at the time of shooting this video. If you're interested, please click the link below to see the advertisement and drop me a message there. So that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it and do get in touch with me if you want to take a look at my two-bedroom Minton for sale. Otherwise, feel free to leave in the comments any questions you have about this development or if you want me to do other projects in future. I'll hear from you soon. Remember to subscribe! <laughs>